Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about how to manually edit products in Google Merchant Center, what the benefits are, what you have to look out for and what you should definitely not change. So before we begin there are several ways that you can edit product information. Of course the primary feed, supplement feed, feed rules, manually editing products and then also the automatic rules. I have written an article that explains what applies when because there are different levels when everything is applied. However, manually editing products is the last thing that is applied just before the automatic improvements, which is the structured data on your website. So before we begin, there are several things that you have to pay attention to when you are editing products. So when you edit a product, then everything that is applied on the primary feed, the supplement feed and feed rules are not applied because manually editing products is the, nearly the last thing that is edited. If you remove the product from the primary feed, then everything that you edited manually will also be removed and it will not return when the product is added again in the primary feed. That means if you want something to auto apply again in the future, if you add that product, it's best to use the supplement feed and never the manually editing products. So what benefits do you get when you manually edit products? Well, let's go and have a look. So go to products, all products, click on the product or you can hover over it and click on the edit icon. So let's go to the final attribute product page and then click on edit icon. So the benefits of editing products is basically the additional images and the images. For example, you have a policy violation that you have a logo on your image or you do not want to upload an image onto a server. You can use the browse feature to upload your edited version or a clean version of the image without affecting your website. This is very beneficial in this situation. However, for example, let's have a look at the additional images. Now, let's assume that you have 10 additional images. Editing one specific one, because it doesn't comply with Google Merchant Center policies, is very difficult, because most primary feed uh, uh, applications do not have the function to edit specific additional images. So what you can do is go to Google Merchant Center and simply delete the one specific additional image that is violating the policy violation. You can also add images. So that allows you to keep the images on your website but change it on Google Merchant Center. Things you should never change are the prices, availability, sale price and then the dates for the uh, sale price and availability date. So these things you should never change and it should be applied by the primary feed. So these are the reasons why I recommend using the editor, for example, for specific case scenarios where you want to change the additional image. There are also other limitations. Not every attribute that Google has available will be within the editor. For example, lifestyle images or short titles are not within the editor. One because it's still in beta, the other because it's a relatively new attribute and Google is rather slow in implementing all the features or all the attributes within the editor. So that is another reason why you should be careful with using the editor. It's great for a quick edit if you need something uh, to be applied to one specific product and it doesn't apply to any other product. Product. If you have something that you want to apply to a lot of products, for example, appending a brand to the title, then it's best to use the feed rules or alternatively the supplement feeds. At all costs, it is recommended that you edit products in the primary feed. This allows you to have more flexibility in editing everything. Some applications are easier to manage than others, so contact your support team for the app that you're using to ensure that you can make those changes. In the event that you cannot make any changes, use feed rules within Google Merchant Center feed or use a supplement feed. Then, of course, if it's just one single product or you want to add it, in this case, the additional images or upload an image, then use the editor. 
And that is everything related to the editor within Google Merchant Center. I am sure that new attributes will be added in the future. So constantly have a look uh, or if you want to check my website for new information. Uh, every month there's new uh, policy changes or uh, features that I explain on the website. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.